Hello out there. I uh, wanted to uh, show you guys a little bit of a how-to uh, for WordPress using a really, really cool uh, plugin, um, free plugin uh, from WordPress.org called uh, the WP Links page. As you can see right here. Uh, WP Links page is really cool. It allows you to make this really dynamic uh, screenshots. I've got this on this page right here where we made it. Uh, we add different things and it actually takes screenshots from the website um, uh, by putting in the information and then after it puts the information it goes ahead and organizes it so that people can see the front of the website and link to it you can even provide descriptions uh, for each one of the links and um, helps people find what you the sites of interest that you'd like to, uh, to find all right so that being said we're going to go ahead and log on to this website here. I made a really cool uh, login down here in the footer. All right. So I'm the webmaster. So very easy on this particular website. It's got the WP links area right here. Okay. I'm not going to save that. Okay. I'm going to press the button and uh, you can see all of the ones with the link URL and the description as we previously stated. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and add a new link. Okay. Let's go to where uh, some of these new links needs to be added. We've got the U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs Crisis High Hotline website. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, control C to copy this link. Okay. Enter the link URL in the top title section right here. Okay. Then I'm going to add the description that was given. U.S. Department of Affairs uh, Crisis Hotline. Add that into the description. Okay. As you can tell, um, I put in there. This is how would you like it displayed? I actually like to display it without the HTBS. I think it looks cleaner but that's kind of your own things but if you look a screenshot has already been made uh, for this website i can either choose another image maybe i've made a crop of the image that i wanted to put in okay um or generate a new screenshot all right so i'm pretty happy with that i'm going to go ahead and publish this okay as you can tell that's all i really needed to do if i go to the uh, links page you can see that it's already been added to it okay if I wanted to I can go ahead and go to the front of the website go to the links page which is over here in the corner for this particular website and it's already been added the name now you notice um, it says www.crisishotline.net but it's got that forward slash on it but that's the visual part of it US Department of Affairs crisis hotline if I click anywhere on here it's gonna open up a new page to the actual website itself Okay, I don't like that that uh, forward slash has been added, so I'm actually going to edit this. To edit it, I don't mess with this. This is the actual link. I want to keep that as is, but the link display is what's down here. See that forward slash is around the end. I'm going to delete that. Update it. All right, after it's finished updating, I'm going to press F5, review it, and boom. This is exactly how you would. When you're adding each one of these links, you just continually to add it, add a description, add the actual link, make sure you, the link is showing the way you want it to show it. And that's basically it. So that's a quick little tutorial on how to use the veteran crisis, uh, well not the thing, but the WP uh, links page where I actually made this cool veteran crisis line link on the ANWNA website. All right. Thanks for watching. And uh, hopefully this is uh, useful information for you.